Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video we're going to be unboxing the on for you Now this is basically an ambient lighting. It's a pack of two. It has Wi-Fi enabled. It's energy saving. They have an amazing glow to them. I already unboxed it, tested it out, paired them. They are insanely good and I recommend it. Now the price is pretty high because, you know, these are really good lights that you can get and that's why they're very good priced in my opinion i would definitely buy these for sure in the future these retail for about 70 to 80 dollars right now they're on sale for 70 dollars you can get a 10 dollars discount code when you click the link but um original price is 80. they're good for tv backlighting or anything else or you know if you already have rgb strips on the back of your tv it's good for surrounding the tv with more led lights on the right side right here you can see that it is um basically safe to use it has all the certifications and it went through various testings and that it doesn't get hot it's just really good overall on the back of the box you have the voltage in different languages right here it has an energy cost of about three hours a day at 11 sets a kilowatt hour it depends on the brightness and everything else like that but basically if you do it three hours a day it's 11 cents a day wattage is about 6 to 12 volts the adapter voltage is 100 to 240 volts AC 50 to 60 Hertz RGB 50 K to 27 K which is the warm and cooler white and then these are Wi-Fi enabled which means it'll last about five years on average let's get into it so right here we have a user manual it shows you how to set them up um, connected to the app the smart home app that's what the name is and it does work with the Amazon and Google Assistant. It shows you exactly how to pair them within this user manual, very clear instructions. You will have no issues without it. It has a free product upgrade lifetime warranty with a 3M adhesive little strip here. There's two of them, as you can see. So that's for both of the lights. So if you wanna stick it on the back of the TV or something, uh, you can do that perfectly with these because they're really strong. All right, we're gonna go from left to right. First up, we have the power adapter, as you can see. This one's really cool because it's like, it's super small. It's very compact. It also has an on and off switch so you can quickly access it. If you don't want to manage the Google Assistant every single time, you could just mount this somewhere, turn it on and off with ease. Now to pair them, one of the quick steps is you just turn it on and off really quickly three times and it'll go into pairing mode and it'll flash. So like I said, 12 volt 0.4 amp rated. Here we have a mounting uh, screws. These are optional. Obviously you don't have to use everything in here. It's just however, wherever you're gonna put it, you just use whatever you need. And right here we have some mounting little brackets. Uh, screw them. You can uh, put them in a really good spot. We have a nice heavy weight to it. Um, it's like a little base, I guess. You can use it like this and then it's a stand. So it's weighted right here are the lights so it is split ended now of course you can just unplug one of them and not use that one and just use one so here's one of them so they're pretty big actually they're nine inches almost 10 inches uh so yeah they're pretty well sized and by the way these are really bright they're crazy bright there's the other one plug it in very simple setup just that's it. That's all you have to do. And then just plug it into an outlet, which I will do right now. All right. So uh, on camera, I think they might look different. I can see that the blue one is probably flashing, but um, they're a nice solid color like this one. So they are diffused. They look super good. And I don't know what the brightness is set at right now, but they are really bright as well. Super nice looking app. Or if I don't want to trigger my assistant, I could just turn it on and off with the little switch. And then on the back, you just have the little mounting holes and then little slider right here. And on both of them, 12 volt, one amps each at a six watt to 12 watt voltage. And then this is the little part that it slides in. I'm gonna go ahead and do the red one because I think the blue one is making a weird effect. Now you feed the cable through the bottom, but I'm not gonna do that yet, but it basically looks like this and you can stand it up. It looks really nice really nice glow so if you want to not mount them this is the safer option and you can have them stand up uh, vertically these are really amazing i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they set up i'm gonna do the app show you all the configurations you can do you can do set timers diy settings and safety use 
See you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's behind the TV right now and it just shines to the wall giving a nice aura effect and you can change it to whatever you want within the app but it just looks really good. As you can see I changed the color here. Very solid. I put the base as well as some screws in there and it looks really amazing. It's on full brightness and it gets really really bright. It has a nice cool white and a warm white. This is the app. You have to sync up both of them and then you can change the color within the color wheel. You can do the white section and then scenes. You also have timers, schedules, and you can control the brightness, etc. And then on the Amazon Assistant app, you can go ahead and set them to living room or however you want. Just make sure they're all the same name so you can control them.